Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is RBT, and welcome to week one of the NCAA Football 14 Coaching Carousel Dynasty Series. Now, if this is the first time you guys are seeing this, or like, what the heck is going on, and what is this series? I will leave a link to the introductory episode, which explains everything, which I did upload yesterday, in the description box below, or maybe in the comments. And I am super stoked about this series, guys, and for the most part, you guys are as well. This is going to be an incredible series. We jump it from team to team, depending on what job offers we get. So it's time to begin our first task as offensive coordinator of the Penn State Nittany Lions this week against the Marshall Thundering Herd. Should be a pretty winnable game as we are ranked number 10th in the country. But this is life after Saquon Barkley. The first time in a long time Penn State's had to play without Saquon Barkley. So we're going to have to see if we can still be a pretty effective offense without the main running back who is now a New York Giant. But guys, be sure if you still are super excited for this series, make sure to drop a like. Listen, once again, we can smash 2,000 likes on today's episode. Be sure to subscribe if you are new and turn on the notification bell if you haven't. But I do want to show you guys some things really quick. As you guys saw, we are ranked number 10 in the country in the preseason poll. Alabama is number one, Clemson two, Georgia three, Ohio State four, and Oklahoma rounding out the top five. We are just in the top 10 at number 10. And rounding out the top 25, UCF, the National champions are number 16, or the reigning national champions are number 16. And then rounding out the top 25, we have Boise State at 25th. And just in case you're curious, I'm going to run all the way down to 128, or it might be 126 in NCAA. Texas State, worst team in the country. And you have my boys, my alumni, at the University of South Alabama, ranked number 113. Hopefully they'll be up there. Maybe I'll take the job at South Alabama at the end of this first season. We'll have to see that. I would actually not be against that whatsoever. That would be super dope. And as offensive coordinator, we're going to choose what playbook I am going to use for this series and for our offense. Now, since I've had jobs before, back like five years ago, we have four custom playbooks I have made throughout my offensive coordinator career. We have the spread speed offense, we have the air fly offense, we have the pro option offense, and the Hulk power offense. I think for this series sake, I am gonna go with my air fly custom playbook. So we're gonna be running my specialty offense, the air fly. And as offensive coordinator throughout this series and whenever I am the head coach, I'm probably gonna run an offense and maybe when I get the head coach, a defense that just fits the talent of my team. And looking at the team that we have, we have a super good quarterback, Running back to a little lackluster because we are missing Saquon Barkley, but we have a pretty good wide receiver core, so it probably suits better to our offense to actually throw the ball a lot more, hence why I'm going to run more of an air fly type offense. So we're predicted to finish second in the Big Ten East, and easily the Big Ten East is the most difficult division in the Big Ten. We have to beat out Ohio State, Michigan, Michigan State. To be able to win the Big Ten East because I want to bring ourselves a Big Ten Championship this first season. We are starting this series off at home against Marshall and we have the ninth toughest place to play in Beaver Stadium. We have an average attendance of 96 or almost 97,000 and hopefully throughout this season if we continue and hopefully go undefeated that will jump up to over 100,000. I want to get to the top five. I want Beaver Stadium to be one of the toughest places to play in the country. I was going to show you guys the preseason All-Americans. But when you import custom rosters into Dynasty, sometimes it accidentally messes all of this up. Hence why the first team preseason quarterback in the Big Ten is actually a wide receiver. And why the first team fullback is a middle linebacker. And why the first team wide receiver is a strong safety. So obviously things aren't correct when defensive players are first team All-Americans on the offensive side of the ball. So we'll just disregard that for now. With that said, it is time to begin this season as Penn State Offensive Coordinator. Hopefully the beginning of a 12-0 run in the regular season. Hopefully we'll improve to 13-0 with the Big Ten Championship game and then a 14-0 season with the National Championship game because the better we do as a team, the better we do offensively, the better head coaching position jobs we will get offered at the end of the season. So with that said, it is time to begin our quest to do good things. <laughs> it was supposed to be a more of a like climatic entrance into the game, but that's all that came out of my mouth. So let's just roll with it. So like I said, get ready for us to throw the ball a lot in this series. If it doesn't work, we'll bounce things out. But we're going to throw the ball probably a lot more than we're going to run the football. So first drive of this ball game. 
Like, nobody's open. Literally, zero people was open, so not the greatest of starts. But an interception would have been a lot worse. So we're just smart, throw the ball away, and live to see another down. So let's let's just try. Let's just run the ball. See how it is. They ran a little man coverage last play. Didn't work. Keep in mind this is on Heisman difficulty, so things might be a little difficult. Didn't mean it to be like a pun, even if it was. But anyways, running the ball here. Got a little bit of space. Sanders, maybe running the ball is a move. Miles Sanders, nine-yard rush sets up for a third down and one. And why don't we just swap this around and run the ball one more time? Actually, run a mid-draw this time. Maybe, like I said, this could be a learning experience. With the talent, overall-wise, it seemed like we'd be better with the, as like an air raid offense, but maybe we just run the ball. Maybe I'll let you guys decide. Sanders, ooh, a nice cut inside. That should have that should have not gone anywhere. But he picks up four yards. Miles Sanders taking over for Saquon Barkley. Not the worst of starts running the football. So now we just have to see if we can have some, uh, some success with throwing the football. First down and 10. Let's see if we can be smart here. Just dump this off to Y. That's going to be shorter. He's not that short. But Justin picks up 13 yards as things are finally beginning to move for the Penn State Nittany Lion RBT-led offense. Let's mix things up. Let's go with the pistol. I, I just remember. Like, okay, so if you guys didn't understand, the playbooks that I was choosing between were playbooks I made like when I was in high school, back when I actually played this game religiously. So those are custom playbooks I made. I just remember like, some of these formations. It's funny. But still thought they were pretty effective. Okay, post is wide open. That is going to be shorter again. Shorter with a 20-yard catch. He might have the last name short, but he plays bigger than his size. So first down and 10 in plus territory already. I remember this used to be a pretty OP formation when it comes to running the football. So let's see if it's the same five years later. Should be the case. So let's see, run the ball right up the gut. Sanders gets a level. Two yards, but hey, could have been one yard. So gotta keep the gotta take the positive out of every situation. So I don't know how I like that. So we're gonna abort mission. Go back to the spread. This was this was a lot of okay. I'm gonna try this. I remember the Hulk formation. I used to run this all the time. I used to be so obsessed with running like, what would I do? I, I would have like I would run the ball like 30 times a game, but that wouldn't be entertaining. Hence why I'm not running the Hulk power playbook that I had. But this was a big part of that playbook. This formation, run the football. Maybe this was why Sanders with the big run, 14 yards. Maybe at least it's a good thing to have in the playbook to run every now and then. Because there's, um, I don't know why that's necessarily called Hulk. Oh, I remember. This is the formation that Stanford used to run all the time. They still might run it. But I remember with Andrew Luck, they would always run this Hulk formation. That's where I got the, that, why don't they have custom playbooks that you can run and, and connect your franchise on, on Madden? That would be sick. But that play specifically, I remember. I don't know how I remember. That came out of the Stanford playbook. So, fun times in NCAA. That's why we're playing the game. So first down and sin, just outside of the red zone. Why he's open. This is going to be shorter again. Who's made every catch on this drive. 19 yards. That was a little too easy. Justin Shorter with the touchdown reception. As things started off pretty successfully for me as offensive coordinator of Penn State. It looks like our offense got the ball literally right back. So we have the ball at the 31 yard. Keep in mind again, if you didn't watch the first episode, I am the offensive coordinator, which only allows you to play offense. So that's why we're only playing offense. And when we eventually become head coach, things will change. But right here, the read option. The defensive end bit inside. Can we make this guy miss? Spin move. That was actually kind of nasty. Picks up eight yards. Just want to make sure our quarterback doesn't get hurt. He's talented, 91 overall. He's pretty fast, but if we don't have to run it with him and avoid and have to like risk injury, I would rather that not be the case. So second down and two. Let's see if we can go ahead and take a two-possession lead in this uh, series opener and season opener for your Penn State. A's open. That's going to be Polk. Easy money in the end zone. Brandon Polk, his first catch of the ball game, 23 yards as your Penn State Nittany Lions take a big lead already. So let's see if our defense can keep playing well. They get this stop. This might be absolutely ugly for, uh, for Marshall in this one. So... Says watch the zone blitz. We're gonna we're gonna play action here. Let's just make sure we mix things up sometimes. X down the field. McCool oh god, that's gonna be bad. Hey, that should have been a pick. My first bad decision of the series ends up not going bad. 
So, <laughs> uh, could have been a lot worse. Let me go back to that Hulk formation. So, maybe the reason I ran this all the time, maybe it was a glitchy formation. I don't know. Maybe it's just because our offensive line is so overpowered compared to Marshall's D-line. I only ran it once, so maybe they'll stop me here. But, yep. That didn't work. Miles Sanders, our first negative play of the ball game, sets up for a third down in 12. You know what? Let's go to the head coach. What does he want to run? He wants to run corner strike. We'll go with the head coach this time. So not bad for our, our running back, Miles Sanders, taking over for Saquon Barkley. Five rushes for 27 yards in this first quarter of his first game as the starter. B is going to be open on the corner route. Just kidding. Actually a really nice play there from the cornerback to make up ground. Set up for our first, uh, first punt of the ball game. So Marshall got actually pretty freaking close to scoring there. But thank God they did. This is already our fourth offensive drive of the first quarter. So we're on pace to have 16 offensive drives this game. But let's see if we can hopefully take a three possession lead here. Defensive end bid in again. McCorley, oh, they had a cornerback blitz. So if it wasn't for that, they'd probably pick up a first down. But three yards is three yards. It could have been the negative two yard loss like we had on last drive. So I think we're going to have one more play before the first quarter is over. But I would consider this a pretty successful first quarter of the season. So maybe we can score again here. Um, 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 wait a second. The dig route is open. Nice little, nice uh, protection from the offensive line because I waited a little bit too long in the pocket. But that's where, you know, talent is a big factor in this game. Our offensive line held up. Had enough time to get, uh, get the ball to the dig route as we move the ball close to midfield. So we're going to put the ball on the ground again. McCorley, McSorley, sorry, has almost 100 yards already. So another run here. Going to bounce it outside with Miles Sanders. He picks up another 7-yard rush. So pretty much all things are clicking right now. We are not missing. I know it's Marshall, but we're seriously not missing any beat whatsoever without one of the best running backs in program history in Saquon Barkley. And hopefully... I'm going to knock on my knee. I don't have wood to knock on, but hopefully things don't change here. So, wait a second. Why? Wide open. That's going to be Shorter again. Shorter is like the best receiver on our team so far. I'm not sure what he is overall wise, but Shorter's having a massive... He might already have over 100 yards. With how like many catches he's had, he seriously might have 100 yards already. We're playing pretty balanced though. Like I said, I was expecting to be more of an air raid team. But um, we're nine. This is gonna be nine rushes and nine passes right here. Sanders with the rush. He is going to pick up about five yards to bring us three yards shy of, or five yards shy of the end zone. So let's bring out the Hulk formation again and see if we can get this one into the end zone. This is actually obviously with like seven guys on the line. Pretty good formation around the goal line when you have an overpowered O-line versus the undersized D-line. So this should be not a touchdown. We ran backwards. That's unfortunate. So now we have a third down and goal. Let's see. Is there any play actions out of this formation? It says the play itself said it was a setup. So I'm not sure, really sure if they're going to expect us to run a, run a ball on like third and goal from the seven. But let's see here. Play action pass. Koontz. We got sacked. McSorley goes down. And we are going to have to settle for a miss the field goal. We actually missed the field goal. Let's go see what the coach wants to do here because I don't feel like confident. Well, Ohio State has lead. I want to see if there's any big upsets at the end of this first game. So hopefully, I'll probably show you guys at the end of every episode what happened the week prior. So let's see right here. Oh gosh, nobody's open. Nobody's open. We can throw this to X. Down the field. He's made the catch. That is Johnson with his first catch of the ball game. Nice play there from McSorley. Like Marshall, aside from like the fact they blitzed everybody on the previous play on the goal line when we ran a play action, which is probably a really dumb play call from me. Aside from that fact, like our offensive line is actually playing incredible. And if you watch my series, watch me play against the computer. One of my most critical, I'm always like extremely critical against the O-line. So me actually speaking praise of an offensive line is me saying that they're they're playing really good. Really, really good. And I got to keep in mind it's Marshall, but it could be a lot worse. So 
things started off great for us. We're starting to get a... How did we miss a field goal from like the three? So hopefully that'll change. He has... Well, he's gone down here a little bit. 4.1 yards per carry now. But it's only it's still early. It's still extremely early. Make sure we put up some more points here. Make a two possession game. Just throw the drag here. Get up a couple yards. Shorter again. Breaking a tackle. And it's going to bring us one yard shy of the first down marker. He already has... 112 yards in this ball game. Absolute gun monster was in the game. Gun monster was in the game. I had no idea. It's I know football plays are football plays and they don't change much. But just seeing the same exact plays you see run in today's Madden, and you're just like, whoa, that was the same exact play was in NCAA football 14. So it just makes you like double check for a second. Miles Sanders gets obliterated. So we come up short yet again. Okay, I'm getting a little worried now. We actually made that field goal and Marshall scores a touchdown. So it is only a 10 point ball game potentially going into halftime. So I am actually a little nervous. I'm going to throw the ball around with 50 seconds left. We have all three timeouts. See if we can score here. X. I'm trusting you, man. Oh my, so much space. So much space. Tompkins breaks the tackle, and that's where our big play ability comes into play. 69 yards, or a pretty bad underthrow there from McSorley, but a receiver waits on the ball, is patient, breaks the tackle. We get our biggest play of the season yet, as things or looking a lot better than they did just a second ago. I'm just curious. I'm going to run this formation because there's no running play out of Gun Monster here. But I'm just curious to see how, if it was effective back in Instant Play Football 14. So, i um, kind of scared. Can somebody run in the field? Hello? B. Oh, that's a pick. Yeah. Okay, that, <laughs> th that was just me being a little wild. B was open, but my quarterback was in a full-on sprint to the left side of the field, and I was trying to throw it to the opposite side of the field. So, yeah, that was me being a little wild, and thank God our defense is good and gets us the ball right back. So, I might just start running the ball. Like, not do anything crazy. Maybe try to score for sure one more time, and after that, we should be solid. Because I don't want to make sure, I don't want anybody to get hurt before we get into the meat of our season. But at the same time, I want to win my... Okay, so Miles Sanders, he's, um... Things are starting to go a little downhill. He started off with like 27 yards in his first five carries, and he hasn't really done much since then. But maybe that's my fault. Maybe I'm not using, maybe I'm not running the right plays. Let's try running a little speed option. But at the same time, we got to be careful because, like I said, I don't want to, number one, turn the ball over, make it once again a two-possession game and give him hope. And number two, I don't want anybody to get hurt, specifically my quarterback. So that almost was bad, but it is going to be a third down and seven so things could have been worse there as well so let's go split slot let's look for some slants let's look for some slants here coach Radama says watch for the man so there might be running man coverage which means this is probably good since we were running slants so let's see a is gonna be open he's gonna make the catch so that is Justin shorter again gets big hit but another 23 yards and I don't know where this man came from he very well might end up this game with 200 yards receiving. Just out of curiosity, I do want to quickly go and look what this man's overall is. I feel like he's not our highest overall wide receiver. I could be wrong. Shorter, he's our 81 overall freshman five-star receiver. That is correct. He is the five-star freshman. I think he was his third-rated uh, wide receiver coming out of high school. And he already looks extremely, extremely, extremely dangerous. So that's f exciting for me. My boys from South Alabama got a 16-9 win over <laughs> FCS West. But I guess a win's a win. This could be big. This could be big. It's not going to be big. Sanders just got absolutely destroyed there. 13 rushes, 42 yards. Not, you know, not necessarily Saquon Barkley numbers. But hey. We have to start somewhere, right? As long as we get the, get the win, and it's not extremely ugly. I'm fine with it. I'm happy. Experimenting a little bit with this playbook, this uh, ancient RBT made playbook. That's part of being an offensive coordinator. Figure out what works right. If we just RB down the field. Sanders, oh, that's Polk. That's his first play. Brandon Polk, his first catch of the ball game. Actually, I lied. His second catch of the ball game brings us into plus territory. 
See, man, I just want to get the I want to get the running game going. So let's try some let's let's experiment. Let's use this game as experimentation tool and see what really is effective with our offense. Now, did our running back get hurt? Did he get hurt? Allen with his first carry of the ball game, and he looks good. Mark Allen, 13 yards. Kind of curious where our starting running back in has not been in the game two straight plays let's try that same exact play again the other side is he back in here okay Sanders is back in I was scared thought he was hurt but let's see if he can pick up some yards on this play good blocking that's great blocking we lose five yards maybe we should never run the same play twice in a row maybe that's where Madden it is different from Madden you can't run the same play every single time in uh NCAA football so we have a second and a 15 from the 35 yard line. Miles Sanders, 2.6 yards per carry. That's not going to cut it against your Ohio State's and Michigan's. Maybe against your Marshalls, but not against the bigger teams. So here, B, back at the end zone. Come on, Tompkins, go up. He makes the catch. Is this on Heisman? I'm confused. So that was an incredible catch. DeAndre Hopkins, DeAndre Hopkins? Uh, <laughs> it's definitely, definitely not DeAndre Hopkins. But what a catch! What a catch! Um, can I? I you guys saw me put it on Heisman. Maybe it's just because it's Marshall. Okay, I can't see, but I'm a thousand percent sure. Maybe settings. That this is on Heisman. This is on Heisman, as you see. So okay, I just was trying to make sure. So uh, this isn't really good. I mean, we're still going to win the game, but Marshall scored on two consecutive drives. We didn't score the last drive, so they've made it They've made it a 12-point game. We have the ball now at the 31-yard line. We should be able to get this win, but we're just not able ever since the first quarter. We just have not been able to run the ball with Sanders. Like, maybe this is where you guys make a decision and tell me, hey, RBT, try another running back. Maybe that's the move. I don't know. I'm going to leave this up to you guys. Maybe we just run the ball or throw the ball a lot more like my plan was going into the season. Just throw the ball a lot more with this team than run the ball. Maybe we're just way more effective that way. See, like, I know that's not his fault. But it's kind of like a couple franchise series ago. We had Ezekiel Elliott, and he was like a 99 overall with the Browns. And he just, just something about him. Just never could find lanes, could never have space to run, and it was just maybe a curse, and maybe Miles is a curse himself. So, well, unfortunately, we have a third down and 15, and I'm kind of worried now, because now that I think about it, if uh, if we don't pick this up, they could score make this a one-possession game with a couple minutes left to go. So I'd rather that definitely not be the case. So why? Over the middle, that's going to be Zach Kuntz with a 10-yard reception. It's a fourth down and five. What's our coach going to tell us to do? Our coach is okay. So I was about to say, he should definitely go for this. Going to go empty quads here. We'll go, we're going to go dig. We're going to go dig. This right here should be, if we pick this up, this should be the ball game. If not, this might get interesting. Slants, that's going to be open. That's going to be Johnson. He ran backwards. Did he get it? I'm nervous. I think he got it. He got it. Here it is, dudes.